Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. I'm Hunter Black Luna. We didn't quite get to talk to everyone as thoroughly as we could have last time. So we're going to do that before we head off to, uh... Pharos. First of all... What do you want, Shepard? Rex. Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as... I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. That sounds like a sad, and for a solid while, policy. We were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. But... I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. Sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. Damn. That's a pretty hardcore story. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? You're trying to make me cry, Shepard. I've got some unfinished business with my family, but that's all. What kind of business? <sighs> Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. Who has it? Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. Now, it's in the hands of Ton Actus, a Turian scum who collects relics from the war. He's made millions selling Krogan artifacts that were stolen from my people. He's got several bases where he stores his goods. All fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. Sounds like a perfect job for a vigilante. Just tell me where to start looking. I'll upload the data to your nav system. But Commander, I want to be there when you find him. Definitely. So long, Rex. Shepard. Alright. Garrus doesn't have much Come more in. to say. Good to see you. Let's talk to Ash again. Didn't really go off well the last time. Commander? 
We have a few minutes to talk, one on one. Sure. I was just watching some mail from home. Oh, before I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Later, sis. <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. Your sister, I assume. Until I get home and kill her. That's Sarah, the youngest. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With Dad on duty so much, I had to help Mom raise them. Did your father serve with the fleet? Yeah, took any crap posting he could get that offered space time. You know what? He worked his ass off trying to get recognized, but he never made it above servicemen third class. He was real proud when I made Chief. First thing he did was salute. Huh. What about your mother? You haven't mentioned her. You must know what military wives are like. Strong because they have to be, able to raise kids while dad's away on a six-month cruise. She has a degree in planetary geology. She and dad both wanted to see new worlds. She gave up her career to raise us, though. Where did you grow up? <laughs> All over. Military brat. We transferred a half a dozen times before I finished grade school. You go where personnel command sends you, right? I guess that's why I'm so tight with my sisters. We'd have to leave all our friends every two or three years. Ouch, I never had to move schools, but I'm told that it really, really sucks sometimes. You're lucky to have a close family. Sorry, I forgot about your family situation. Or lack thereof. Relax, Williams, I've dealt with it. Ask me to clear a bunker of armed hostiles? No problem. Dealing with the foot in my mouth? Not so good with that. Duly noted. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like your father wasn't around much. Wasn't your family stationed near him? Dad always wanted to serve in space, but he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that loved me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. Sounds vaguely familiar. I didn't know you liked classical literature. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Your beliefs are your business. I'm your commanding officer, not your moral compass. I appreciate that, Skipper. I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much in of my time. mind, that really is the Paragon response to that question, but that's just me. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. There. I've just humanized her a little for you guys. Because we didn't really talk to her enough. And I think Tally had more to say. I'm not sure, though. I know Adams doesn't have much. Something I can do for you, Commander. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye. Man, if I didn't tell him to carry on, the engines might stop. Good thing I came down here, guys. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. So am I. Good to see you smiling again, uh, so to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Seren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. That is like what every RPG character should say when they mention their personal issues. I should go. See you later. And admittedly, a lot of them do, especially in Bioware games. People bitch like... Karth is the... The er example of people... Oh, he's, he's, he's whiny. You don't have to talk to them for one single second about his damn feelings if you don't particularly feel like it. It's on you to initiate the conversations. As with, like, all this game except for specially scripted events. Anyway, let's get up to CIC. Um... 
Where should we go? I'm thinking of looking for Saleon next, or maybe... You know what, screw it. Let's just go for Pharos, everybody. We still have time for side missions after that. And we'll have new ones, even. Goody. Yes, Commander? Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. And once again, I telewarp, but it disorients me for like half a moment. All right, let's roll, everybody. And luckily, the map just friggin' tells us, so I don't have to guess. On we go to Theseus system. Let's explore the rest of this system, just to herp a derp. A lot of these planets look really pretty. Sharing! I know that's not how it's pronounced, but... It's still kind of amusing. We'll get on Rex's family armor eventually. That'll, uh, that'll become important at some point. A lot of this stuff will become important. This place looks pretty. There you go, just a little more. I'm guessing that's EXP and credits and, you know, the good stuff. Pharos is actually an interesting colony. They basically found a Prothean, like, ruins of massive cities and they just carved out a colony in there. Which sounds like a really badass place to live. Only population of 300, though. And they are apparently having a lot of problems in Geth and... Oh, that's why we're going there. We'll solve everything like we, like we usually do. place definitely reminds me a little of Terrace from Knights of the Old Republic. Alright, we've dropped anchor, so to speak. In fact, almost literally. Since it looks like we have actually landed the ship. It's cool that we can land the ship. Most of the really cool sci-fi ships like the Enterprise from Star Trek. Uh, you're not landing that without serious problems, everybody. Commander, something you need? I have to go. Alright, see ya. Just checking in with people, you know how it is. Who to take? Ah, uh, well, I know my favorite choices. Look, Ash is alright, but she doesn't have powers I can spam, and without that, the person's usefulness goes down, oh, about half. Just gotta say. Caden and Tally, yeah. Or you know what, they're ancient Prothean ruins, we might as well take Liara too. We're going to be really heavy on biotics. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Alright. Hit quick save as we come ashore. Ah, there's someone over there. Probably the uh, welcoming committee. This whole place is like a grave though. It's basically the grave of a planet. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. All right. Take cover! Whoa! Whoa! Dude! Holy shit! No, what? But that was quite a surprise. Jesus. Ah, Caden. You need like a million powers. Uh, 
No reason not to go for Master Overload though. Master Spark. Ah, Lift is always lovely. And then we'll split it. Won't get many more level ups, but you've basically maxed out your usefulness. Ah, Liara. I'd say pretty much the same view. you. Yep. And Kaden, we haven't got you equipped for a while. Hello. Got some really good stuff over here. Take that. Haven't even got you upgrades. My caliber barrel, and... Yeah. It's no spoiler, we're gonna be fighting tons and tons and tons of geth. Uh, tungsten rounds, that's good. It's real good. However, you're gonna be doing most of your damage with your biotics, of course. Here, have one of these nice amps. Uh, Liara, you take the other. I can manage with what I have. And for armor, assassin. Bam, massive improvement. Yeah, looking good. It's good that we can change armor in the middle of a fight, that's good stuff. We got kind of a squishy caster party going on. That's fine, that could be fun too. Jesus. We cut through these guys like butter now. Whoa. He got quite epically owned. Alright, next wave. God, there's 14 tons of them. I don't even need my powers. I'm just using them because, hey, it's fun. It's not even to save ammo because there's no ammo in this game. It's all, like, future guns. Alright, we need to equip combat scanner. It's a little bit more micro and annoyance. But doing it this way... Will let me enjoy the benefits of other weaponry until I need the scanner. Because most times the scanner doesn't do things. Big whoop, your radar's already... Whoa! Yeah, we've already been introduced to this piece of crap. Yeah, It's so weird, though. And the scanner does nothing, so there's no reason to keep the piece of crap on our gun. Come on, it's a level 6 scanner, even. Whatever. Can't do any better. Weapon stability is always good stuff. And we have tungsten rounds. No wonder we're cutting through the enemy. Plus 35% damage. Did we get turned around? No, we didn't. This place can be a tad bit confusing. We did get turned around. Piece of crap. Wow. That noise scared the- Whoa! Whoa, too close, man. Personal friggin' space. Allow me to educate you on the subject. Yep. All targets eliminated. I'd call that pretty owned. Oh, biotics. Shit. This place is crawling with them. We barely get off the damn boat. And we just get jumped. Head to the tunnel. Make sure they're secure. But what if I find Geth there? Are you saying you won't go? No, uh, I'll go. I'll go. Get ready. I'm in charge of this crap. Those Geth are bloody dangerous. Had to see some soldiers. Alright, let's go talk to the... I just heard a gunshot. These guys will have... Like they're trying to fix stuff. Die of the Geth will surely kill us all. How is a woman supposed to think the gun... Jesus, this place is a goddamn war zone. No one warned us of this crap. The Geth will kill us all. The Geth are mounting another attack. Who the hell is the leader around here? I'm gonna ride using 15 more. Huh. Another side quest for us to do at a later date when I give a crap. 
crackling of fires in my ear. There, there, dear. You can do this. Just relax. My headaches are getting better. I just have to stop thinking about the past. Damn. The Geth just keep coming. Oh, hey. There we go. Don't think we're supposed to go through here yet, but we have arrived at the other side of the colony. Ah, I'm being a jammed again, but there's who we were looking for. Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're Fuck a bit you. late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since. Watch out! We've got Geth in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! Wow. These guys have been fighting. How long have, the, how long have these Come colonists on. been fighting? Like endless waves of Geth. Alright, guys. Just show them the fucking door. Somebody get whoever's jamming me. Apparently, the battle scanner is not sufficient. I don't know if these guys even fight. Well, let's rock then. I don't want to die. Please, don't let me oh, die. Oh, man. I could have helped you, man. What a scripted death. I'm not sure I'm happy with that as a storytelling tool. Like having the red shirt die just to prove a point about the enemy. Uh, I'd call that pretty friggin' secured. Alright, now maybe we can have a proper fucking conversation. You can go two minutes without Geth trying to riddle us with holes. Protect the heart of the colony! We've got Geth! I guess in they the want tower. me to clear it all out. Uh, why not? I guess that's what I came here to do. We aren't being jammed anymore. Hello. Well, the music just took a turn for the badass. Oh, here we go. Holy. Okay, well, they're on me. Goody. Come on, Chef, take over. There we go. What the? Oh. I'll level up. Mind if I do then? Are they being dropped in on us or something? Come on, ship. She promptly misses. Uh oh. Luckily, I've just got the upgrade to make this just. Oh, yep, that was a dropships of some kind. Probably the same kind we fought on that one random world. That should keep Vidan and the others safe. After an update, we can head out for the main Sounds good to me, it. man. Good job, everybody. Let's pack up and head back through the labyrinth. This is where I'm gonna get lost a ton, since I normally on my... Alright, look, I've played Mass Effect 1 and 2 a ton. I've played them through absolute tons, but the thing is I usually, uh, don't go up to this point again. That's why I'm sort of sick of the beginning of both games. Because I've seen them so often. Making new characters, all that stuff. The tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony's safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. What do they want? If you want Bitch, answers, you will get go punched. ask them yourselves. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? Uh, it's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army Human of fucking between here corporations. and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational with you. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems oh, you know, like the minor stuff. water and power. 
I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people and overseeing them. I'll talk to you when I learn more. We could here. talk to the confrontational person, but I don't particularly feel like wanting to kill a character that we can't. Ah, this is a good place to leave off, though. <laughs> Welcome to fucking Pharos, everybody. Next time on Let's Play Mass Effect, we'll see what we can do for these poor bastards. I'm Hunter Black Luna, and I'll see you guys then.